through why you need to optimize your product feed with AI if you're an owner of an online retail store. I'll walk through some real examples and show you how it works and why you should use it. I'll show you how ads are working and revenue focused when you're running your feeds with AI. Uh, my name is Brian. I was co-founder of a company called Sales and Orders and we ran over 20,000 feeds through our software. I'm now working on some AI projects with a new company that I started and I just wanted to share some details with everybody. And, and bear with me because I'm going to kind of go all over the place. I'm going to jump through a couple of different accounts that we're focusing on. I'll show you some details. There's really only three companies that can do this properly right now. It's either Microsoft, Google, or Amazon. Probably need an engineer to do it. But once it's set up, it will, one, save you money, two, run better than any human can run a feed. You're going to get your products out of your store. Let's say it's Shopify. It goes into, uh, for us, like an S3 bucket. We run through some logic software that cleans up all the product data, and that will go through every single product based on human natural language. If a title doesn't make sense, it has color in the field and it has size in the field, then just add it to the product data, make it look good. Uh, an example would be just natural language. If my brand name isn't in the title, add the brand name. And typically you'd have a tool where you'd say, put the brand name first, then put the size, then put the title, and then put the color. This is like, okay, I want you to take the title, recreate it with the proper data, and do it in a natural human way. So it's going to inject those words into your title properly. And also, if you're missing stuff in like color, size, it can take that from the description, um, the title. It will also say, okay, well, let's say you have a, a variance of a product and every variant has the same description because that's how it's set up in your store. Well, this will say, well, I know what the product is about as the variant. I know it's a color. I know it's a size. Uh, let me rewrite the description that focuses so solely on this one product. That's the nature of this. And then another level on top of this that, that really gets interesting is that you can pass data back from other services like Merchant Center or Google Ads. And based on that information, you can tell it to update the data within your feed based on what's happening on your site. I'm going to wrap it up here just because it's, it's going to just get too long. So I'll wrap this one up. I'll continue doing more of these videos and go into more detail. I can go into as much detail as, as you want. If you have specific questions, just put a comment in and I'll be happy to answer it 